Hey guys, it's Chris Razor here over at Extreme Polishing Systems, and I'm always getting asked questions about how to use our Thixo Fix and what it's used for and where we can actually use it. Um, so a couple different applications for this um, would be doing one inch radius cove for uh, cove base, would be for filling expansion joints or cracks in your slab, would be if you're gonna coat a tile with an epoxy and you needed to fill all the grout lines first prior to coating it with the epoxy, you would use something like this. And what it is is, is really just a, a, a powdery substance that you'll mix with the epoxy um, you can kind of see here, it's just a, a powder type substance. You'll mix it with the epoxy. We're gonna get it to the consistency of uh, peanut butter or mashed potatoes, a paste-like substance so we can apply it to the surfaces that we're using. Um, so I'm gonna go through that process right now with you, how to mix it up, and then actually how to apply it to a corner of a wall or expansion joints or cracks or holes. Um, so let's get started here. Um, first thing you're going to need is obviously the Thixo Fix itself, and then we're going to need um, our epoxy. Our epoxy is two to one, so it's two parts resin and then one part hardener. So we're going to mix it as if we were to use it with a solid color pigment, clear metallic pigment. So we're going to mix it the same way, and then we're just going to add the Thixo Fix once it's mixed to get to that consistency of uh, mashed potatoes or peanut butter. Um, all our epoxy is two to one, so two parts to one part hardener. So I'm going to take a little bucket here. Um, and for today's purposes, I'm going to use 16 ounces of material first. In the resin, so I'm going to take 16 ounces of resin filled up here. So there we go, we're at 16 ounces. And then I'm going to take our hardener. I'm going to add eight ounces of that. So now I'm going to mix this up for the three minutes like we always say. We're going to do it by hand. And I've got my, my phone here, so we'll do this for three minutes. Many big bags later. All right, guys, so once we have the product mixed up for the three minutes like we did by hand, now I'm going to add the Thixo Fix. And again, the, what we're trying to do is there's no exact science as to how much here. Uh, we're just trying to get to that consistency of, you know, mashed potatoes or peanut butter. So, all right, so now once we've got the Thixo Fix mixed up to that peanut butter and mashed potato consistency, we're ready to apply it to whatever surface we're trying to repair. So that's whether uh, the tack stripping in a floor where they had tile or carpet down and they've ripped those tack strips up and we want to fill all the holes around the perimeter or any blowouts where things were dropped on concrete, cracks, expansion joints. Again, this is what we're going to use it for. Um, so I'm going to take you over to this little area right here where we've chased a crack and we're actually going to just fill it with the product so you can see how that actually works. So you can see where we filled some before. We're not trying to overfill it too much to create more work for ourselves when it comes to grinding it back off, but we definitely want to make sure that we fill it very well. Um, you can see how easy that is to apply. And we could do this over, over tile, in between the, the expansion joints. Um, we could do it in the holes. I like to put a little bit over, just in case it wants to recess a little bit. But that's the main purpose here. Um, you know, if you wanted to do holes like you see right here, you know, if you needed to fill an actual hole, you could certainly do that with the, with this. Now, um, so you've seen how we would fill a crack or a hole. Um, and if we wanted to create a little one inch radius for our cove, we could certainly use this for that as well. Um, so what I do is I put a little bit in here, um, kind of like that. You'll have better technique than me, I'm sure. 
But um, then I use our Easy Cove trowel, a flexible radius trowel. Um, what I'll do is I'll spray a little bit of xylene on the back side of this to kind of make it a little bit easier to work with. And then I'm simply gonna flex it in here and be able to pull this down the wall and create that one inch radius that we're looking for. Again, light pressure and just a nice little pull down the wall and that'll create a perfect little radius for us. You could also use this product and mix it with uh, quartz and create an actual uh, cove base with mixed quartz as well. Um, but this is a good, good easy way to do it. All right guys, so that's some of the ways to work with our Thixo Fix, whether it's filling expansion joints, cracks, or holes in a concrete slab, applying it over a tile surface, uh, doing it for cove to create a one inch radius. If there's any additional questions you guys have, please feel free to reach the number below. Thanks for watching and have a great day.